Welcome to my YouTube channel, Bertog Austria. This is not a technical advice, just a video how I changed my broken spring in the Scott tailwheel. Here it locks. And here, nothing. So, hello, welcome. Uh, to my bird dog channel, Bird Dog Austria. Please like and subscribe. What we have here is a Scott tailwheel, and I have got an error in the Scott tailwheel. When I pushed the right side, it just went through. It didn't lock anymore. So what did I do? I just prepared it. I removed it uh, from the spring. Turn around. Open the screw. So now you can easily remove the upper part as you can see here a little spring is already there put one out two out and number three out what you can do now is analyze where is the problem as you can see here the problem here is the broken spring so normally when the spring is inside you can see it locks and on the other side it doesn't lock anymore because the spring is broken so what we are going to do now is to remove this spring we just put off the upper part now you can see the broken spring which was attached here but how do we get the spring off it's impossible to remove the spring without removing this little bolt here but to do this it's necessary to put out this bronze part so first we have to remove this here therefore I use uh, some uh, plastic, I just cut it myself, same diameter, put it inside. So you can see that uh, everything here is now protected, the bearings are protected. Then I just took a big screw. For safety reasons, not to uh, damage the brass part, I just put some, some tape on it. Then you give it inside, and now it's quite easy. Just one, two, three, four. Very soft, because it comes easily out. Whoop, there it is. So here it is, and this was my, my protection. Just remove it. So, perfect. And now we can see the brass. And now I will try to put out this brass. Uh, now I've cleaned everything. And it's very important not to damage all the surfaces inside. Uh, I tried uh, it with the hammer to push it out. Um, didn't work really good so i will make another thing i will warm up all this and take an ice spray and just cool down the inner ring and then i will try again so here i've got the cold spray and my heat gun So finally, we got 55 degrees. Okay. 
so put it up back here again. Inside the nut. Okay, let's party. Here we go. Yep, it works. Yeah, baby! Simply physics, that's all we need in life. Then struck the toad mate just so far that you can reach it. So, this should be fine. Yeah, perfect. So, I actually brought it out without any damage that what was uh, I, I was looking for and so wait how can i show it to you there you can see it there inside is this little bolt and now i try to remove it perfect simply physics okay what we are going to do now we see here inside the little hole which is now free and we try to press out this bolt this happens very easy and simple let me see if it works yeah see it's already coming out to the angle so continue more yeah now I should be free yeah yeah baby that's how it works not easy here you can see the the bolt outside okay and here very interesting to see i hope you can see it i will make uh, some light there is a, a smaller uh, spacer inside and the bigger spacer outside I think you can see it now, very clear. You can also see it on the other side. So now we'll uh, keep that like that uh, to build it in again as it was. So the bigger space is outside and the smaller space is inside. Very interesting. So it took me about three weeks to get from uh, aircraft spruce the correct part. Uh, anyway, here you can see it's a Scott uh, type spring 3222-00. The part number seems to be 733-9945. Uh, I think you can write it down uh, to get the correct part. Honestly, I didn't find it. Uh, I didn't found it on the on the Aircraft Spruce homepage. So I sent them a mail, uh, said uh, what I need, and they are very helpful and uh, sent me the correct part. So now I will assembly all again. What I will do first is to check if it's really the same part. I put it uh, together and yeah, it is exactly the same. But to be honest, uh, the, the thickness of the material looks for me a little bit different. So I will measure the original had a 0 902 millimeters. And the new one has one decimal zero nine millimeters. So one zero nine, uh, well, well, that's quite a difference. Uh, and you have to adjust this because here, here you have spacers, and with these spacers you can uh, easily adjust it. So probably I will need uh, to take one out. So I just remove, removed both spacers. 
Uh, let's see how the thickness of number one. It's 066. And 04. So I still have a problem about uh, 0 0.2. But I will now uh, try uh, to put in the one decimal one zero against the, the original one zero nine three, which means uh, a difference of of zero one seven. This is the difference zero one seven. So I will try to adjust it. If you can see, it's nothing. Yeah? So I just put the spring in and with a plastic hammer I put in back this safety bolt So actually I uh, used just a steel hammer and with the steel hammer uh, I put over it and it's smooth no edges, nothing this is exactly how it should be. So the next step will be to put in again the brass. As you can see, now it's again impossible to put it inside. I have to warm up again this material, take the, the ice spray, the cold spray, cool it down, and then I will press it inside. Okay, this now should be warm enough. So, ice spray. And it already went in and and make it level with a plastic hammer. Now before you put in again the bearing, Put in some new grease. So I really put in plenty of it. And again, never use a hammer made of metal. Always take your plastic hammer and carefully put that all in again. Exactly how it should be. Always use enough grease. So, upper part. Again, 
new grease put in again the springs one two three they should all move easily and now you can put up put on our next part but before we do this again we take some grease Okay. Now you have to put it on again. Okay, put it back on. So the upper part I will just fill it up. plenty of grease inside So just uh, tighten the screw and then release it about uh, a quarter of a turn, that's the best. So, this is how I do it, quite simple, everything moves easy. It locks here, it locks there, and it locks here. That's what I wanted to do. Perfect. I didn't find a video on YouTube, but I think it was quite helpful for you to, to make it your, to your own. It's easy. The spring costs at uh, aircraft spruce around about uh, 20 euro. I think in the US it's 14 or 16 dollars. And a cheap part in this case, and you have a Scott tailwheel, which is like new. So, and here a mounted Scott tailwheel. This is how you should uh, try before each flight your Scott tailwheel. One, it locks, other side, it locks. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I think it's now easy to do it yourself.